Newly revealed picture of Princess Diana we've been mesmerized by this week, taken right before she would become the most documented woman in the world, looking so young and so innocent. But who was the young man with her? It was a mystery until ABC's Nick Schifrin got the, down on the case and tracked the mysterious stranger. Nick is with us more from London. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Bianna. We pieced through every clue. We looked under every manhole. We called every contact we had. It's the biggest mystery since the Loch Ness Monster, and we think we've solved it. She was just Diana Spencer. It was 1979. She was 17 years old, skiing in the Swiss Alps. Diana tore her ankle tendon, so she spent a lot of time indoors with a certain silent suitor. I can categorically say that the man in the picture is Adam Russell. Adam Russell, great-grandson of a prime minister. He always liked Diana, but he never told her. If Adam Russell had told her how he really felt about her, the British monarchy would have been a very different monarchy than we see today. Same's true for Russell. Today he's a farmer way down here, Dorset, England, where he and his wife run this B&B. He went off travelling around the world, came back, and thought that he could then make a go of it with uh, Diana. Uh, only to find a friend telling him, uh, too late, Adam, <laughs> you've got one rival, Prince Charles. And that's when Diana became, well, the princess, the glass carriage. The dress, that train, one of the most photographed women of all time. When she looked down your lens and she smiled, you knew you had a great picture. Arthur Edwards was one of Diana's first photographers. This woman was not just a, a beauty, but she, she sort of changed the way the royal family worked completely. She did everything her way. Walked in minefields, helped take the stigma out of AIDS. Everything she did was documented, and yet this photo disappeared just two days after Diana's engagement. The Mirror newspaper got scared that it would offend the palace. They want any more trouble. That's the reason they ever published it, I'm sure. Well, there is whiskey in the corner. A young, happy Diana, whose life could have been very different. If she had fallen for Adam Russell, um, she would be uh, herding deer in the south of England and uh, somebody else would be the future queen. Now I called Russell down at his farm. He wouldn't tell me much other than confirming it was him in the photo, but he did say he looks pretty much the same today, although his hair is a little shorter now. So, mystery solved. Dan Bianna, we're headed up to Scotland now to find the Loch Ness Monster. We are now convinced you can do anything, Nick. Yes. Thank you very much.